Uh, and thank you, everybody else, uh, as well, for coming. Uh, I'm Richard Gary, Lord British. Uh, I have uh, spent a little time in Ultima. Uh, <laughs> at least as many hours as most of you have, I suspect. Uh, played more than my share. But, uh, uh, but anyway, you know, what's, uh, what's interesting about, you know, not, uh, about this journey that we've all been on together, uh, especially for myself, you know, I, I feel very, very lucky to have been sort of just at the right age at the right time to be in junior high and high school, right with the, the advent of pen and paper role-playing games like Dungeons & Dragons, right with the advent of moving from teletypes on the purple computers, and, uh, and I was lucky enough to stumble into creating uh, the Ultima series, which uh, it became, as you all are, are well aware, you know, one of the foundational role-playing series of, of the industry. That, uh, uh, and, and, you know, and whether by luck or hopefully some skill, you know, down through those years, uh, you know, Ultima has had the opportunity to help advance you know, what is the state of the art, what was the state of the art before its day. And, I, and I'm still very proud of many of those firsts that occurred. You know, uh, uh, Calabeth and Ultima 1, you, know, you could argue, were amongst the first role-playing games at all. You know, Ultima 4, where you know, the virtue system Produced, which I, I still reflect on as uh, you know one of the you know not only foundational moments of my own career but even amongst role playing games I think that uh, uh, you know, Ultima four five six and seven still did certain things about storytelling better than games that have done since including our own I mean, it's a it's a it's a high bar to, to reach but uh, uh, but probably you know most important amongst all of those was this little game called Ultima Online. And uh, you know that uh, that game, uh, you know, while it's uh, it's uh, normal and not necessarily appropriate that I get a lot of credit for things called Ultima, uh, there's another person right here who, or in the specific case of Ultima Online, uh, really deserves the lion's share of the credit. He's the person who we, we actually pitched it together over a period of, of a couple of years before we were allowed the opportunity to, to build it. But he is the guy who hired the team, managed the team, drove the feature set, you know, really, uh, you know, for what Ultima became, and, you know, when, when it really kind of reached its, its pinnacle of existence. Uh, the first we need to thank, and I'd like to invite up here with me, is Star Long. Star Long. And before I hand to the microphone to say a few words of like too, let me just say a few more things about him. You know, one, one of, uh, you know, the, the project we're working right, on right now that I hope you all come play, of course, uh, you know, Shroud of the Avatar is a, a project that we're, we're doing together. And what's interesting about the team doing Shroud of the Avatar is that it includes not just the two of us, who have worked together now for decades, uh, but about a third of the team has worked together for literally decades. You know, another third of the, peop third of the team are people we've poached away from senior staff of other projects that hopefully they have things to contribute now on our team. And about a third of the team are, are young greenhorns, you know, people who, uh, uh, when we say, you know, we've tried that, it doesn't work, they go, yeah, old guy, get out of the way, let me show you how it's done. Uh, which I all think is important for, you know, bringing things into the modern era and not just being stuck in the thinking of the past. And, uh, but, 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 but really, as I look at teams that we've, that I have worked with, and I think Star will say something similar, you know, the, Shroud of the Avatar team is, is, is uh, you know, amongst, if not the best teams we've ever had. Uh, we're doing it, as most of you are all well aware, as a completely community-supported, uh, uh, you know, endeavor. Uh, we, we're doing crowdfunding for the whole game, so we literally work for you. We, we, we really feel like we are the employees of y'all's company, all of you who are, who are backing it. Uh, so anyway, thank you all very much for, for you know, joining the Ultimate Dragons 25 years ago, for keeping Ultima as a household name for such a long period of time, or uh, you know, helping to showcase what it really means for community to get together, uh, and, uh, and allowing me and Star to come, come, come join you, but please start. So first I want to thank you too, for giving me my first job in the game industry. Thank you. Uh, so, and second, thank you having us here today, and thank you for forming this club 25 years ago, and indirectly, the formation of this club is an example of why I made Ultima Online, and why 
why we made it. Because for me, games are a social experience, even when they're a single player game. And the formation of this club 25 years ago is an expression of that fact. An expression that even when games are single player experiences, they're also a social experience. And the formation of this club and the experiences you guys shared with each other and the endurance of this club and the endurance of your experiences and the sh continuance of your sharing of this and the fact that it's lasted this long is, in, is it's just a testament to that fact that games are such social experiences. And it's why I love making games, specifically games that are multiplayer games and that are games that allow you to share that social experience. And so thank you for forming this club. Thank you for keeping it together. Thank you for being social with each other. Thank you for being such a warm, amazing, supportive community because I think you guys represent the very best in what we can be. And, and I think games can help us show the world how people can be good and kind and supportive with each other. And so, thank you. Sorry, pass it back to you, Laura. Yes.